the holiday season gets very busy and keeping healthy should be your top priority. Today we're speaking with Dr. Tony O'Donnell. He's here to talk about what we can do to prepare for this holiday season, kind of make sure that we are healthy. Thanks for joining me today. You're welcome, Jennifer. Nice to have you. Nice to have me. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> nice to see you too. So tell me a little bit about your background for people who don't know you. We know you are an author. You've had a radio show. Tell me about your background. Well, I'm from Ireland. I have written, as you mentioned, I'm an author. I've written 14 books on health mm -hmm. and uh, I'm from Ireland originally. I'm a naturopathic doctor, herbalist, nutritionist. I'm also a clinical psychologist with a PhD in addiction. So I deal with the role of superfoods and mental health. I deal with people who are addicted to pain medication, who are taking too many drugs. We're the most overfed, undernourished, overmedicated nation in the world. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of sickness in my family back in my native Ireland. I'm from a family of 11. Lost my father, my brother-in-law, my uncle, my cousin, my fiance, mm -hmm. who was also in broadcasting. And I want to dedicate my life to helping others. That's why I do what I do, travel around the country, right. um, do the morning shows, and uh, tell people uh, how to take their health back. So, you know, the holiday season's coming up. We all get a little busy. We, you know, maybe go grab something to eat really quick that's not very healthy for us. But what can we do at home every day to kind of get our bodies ready for this holiday season. We do a lot of traveling. There's a lot of germs. Mm, absolutely. Good, good question. Sleep is very important. We don't get enough sleep. There's a lot of worry, a lot of stress during the holiday season, particularly as it relates to finances, children wanting gifts and so on and so forth. Not enough money when the month runs out. And that's a very difficult, challenging time for people. Suicide is a huge issue over the holiday season. Uh, weight gain is a, is a significant right. issue the holiday season. People gain about 20 pounds. Some people 10, 15, 20 pounds over the holiday season. So I teach people about taking responsibility, mm -hmm. making sure that they eat as healthy as possible. That means eating more fresh fruits and vegetables, getting, as I just mentioned momentarily, getting plenty of sleep, making sure that they reduce their stress. That's very, very important. There are herbal remedies, which I'll explain in just okay. a minute, of some of the things that they should take. And also... Um, being mindful of the choices that they make on a daily basis, meaning mm -hmm. watch your fat intake, uh, make sure that you avoid sugar as much as possible, uh, get that sleep that I just mentioned. That's right. really, really important. If you can't sleep well at night, you also gain a significant amount of weight during the holiday season or during the year. Mm -hmm. And you also increase your risk, unfortunately, of diabetes and cardiovascular disease as a result of not getting enough sleep. Right. So, you know, most people will say, okay, I'm going to pop a vitamin C every day and see if that helps me, you know, keep from the cold or flu. That's a huge thing right now. Everyone's talking about cold and flu. What do you have here today that, you know, we can take at home to kind of help us? Right. Well, there are some herbal remedies right here. As you see, this is a green uh, superfood, Radiant mm -hmm. Greens. This has a synergistic blend of about 32 different herbs in one bottle. Mm -hmm. This is for conditioning and strengthening and for keeping the body strong. So it's immune enhancing. I've had the chance, Jennifer, to spend time with some of the longest lived people in the world. The Hunzas, the Vilcaba Indians, the Azerbaijanis. These are people who live long lives, 115, 120. They don't get sick. They don't get colds. They're lean. They're fit. They're healthy. Yeah. They have beautiful teeth. They don't get diabetes. They don't have cardiac vascular disease, they live off the land. So these are plant-based herbal remedies that you can okay. find in most health food stores or you can find it on my website at radiantgreens.com. This okay. is pure whole food vitamin C, Katie's whole food vitamin C from Los Angeles. And uh, this is a remarkable form of vitamin C because most vitamin C doesn't do the trick because it's made of corn and acetone and okay. acetone is used to remove your nail polish. Right, uh, absolutely. That's <laughs> a little scary. It's a little scary. Body. And yeah. the corn is genetically modified. That's another issue, a whole other show. So we want to make sure that we eat a plant-based, whole food, non-synthetic non mm -hmm. form of whole food vitamin C. Now, can I put this in a smoothie or something like that? That's exactly okay. right. That's uh, what I do with this. I take a tablespoon of whole food vitamin C, tablespoon of radiant greens. I put it in a blender, add some blueberries. And this is a way to start your day off strong. And we know that cultures who live off the land are healthier, fitter, stronger, and have less colds and less flus, and also seem to live longer as a result of consuming plant-based nutrition. Okay. Um, anything else here that you recommend to yeah. get us ready for this cold and flu season? Absolutely. Alfalfa is very good because mm -hmm. it's a mineral. The roots reach about 90 feet into the ground, so they extract all the minerals. Uh, scripture says that where there's no life, there's no minerals, and where there's no minerals, there's no plant life, there's no nutrition. So we must consume dark, leafy, green-colored superfoods. Okay. So alfalfa, 
barley grass. This is a remarkable herb right here. It's called astragalus. I'm going to open this one for okay. you, if I may. This looks a little funky. It looks like a tongue depressor. Yeah, yeah, it does. And it looks like take, you go to the doctor. Yes, and they look, take yes, my temperature, exactly. Jennifer. Take my temperature. Yeah. But these are actually used in China to strengthen and to enhance the immune system, to keep the immune system strong. This is called astragalus, or vetch root, or milk root. What you do with these, you put them in a pot, fill okay. them up with water, you boil them, and you drink the juice. Like a tea. Like a tea. It's very, okay. very strong. It also comes in powder. It's also in the radiant greens, and you can also find it in many herbal superfoods, particularly in Chinatown, in your neck of the woods, or you can get it online, or you can get it from mail order catalogs. But this is called mm. astragalus, very That's strong conditioning, strengthening tonic herb. This is one form right here that you boil as a tea, and then these are actually a powder form of it right here. So you mm. can also strain this, put it in your tea teapot. Right strain it and you drink it so for strengthening and conditioning your immune system and then right here we have ashwagandha which is an Indian herb which is used in India uh, this is non-invasive it's affordable it's effective and this technically takes the place of people mm -hmm. taking in too much medication okay. uh, being an herbalist and nutritionist and naturopath I believe in a natural approach to health so this is ashwagandha so it reduces stress when you reduce the stress you get that sleep that we talked right. about I didn't get much sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> I came all the way from so California. You took an extra dose. <laughs> yes, I took a little extra dose. So people and can really go to their health food store and start asking or order any of this stuff online, correct? Absolutely. And right over here is spirulina, which mm -hmm. is a rich source of protein. Most people don't get enough protein, particularly our parents, grandparents. Mm -hmm. Our children don't get enough protein. This is why bone breaks have been... Uh, exceptionally high in this country, uh -huh. but particularly because our children are eating ding dongs and donuts and big gulps and french fries and yeah. hamburgers and white bread. And this is why diabetes has skyrocketed. So this is spirulina, which is a rich source of protein. Very powerful, very, very strong. Cool. Thank you for showing us some of the stuff. Oh, so, you're you know, this is all kind of a natural approach instead of just going to the doctor and saying, yeah, you can, can I get my flu shot? I mean, you can always go do the flu shot, but you can also do something a little more. To well, just we know that the flu shots have a lot of mercury, mm -hmm. the Marisol. We know that the flu shot doesn't always work. We know that those of us who condition our immune system and keep mm -hmm. it strong in a non-toxic, affordable, effective, non-invasive, safe way are far more healthy than those who actually run to the doctor because we right. write more prescriptions in America than the entire world combined. Really? We yeah. love medication in this country and in North America. And indeed, in my own country, Ireland, this is why I do what I do, and this is why I write the books. This mm -hmm. is why I go on television. This is why I do internet shows. This is why I do radio to help people understand there's a more natural, effective way and a safer way, Jennifer, as well, to stay right. healthy. Also, you know, with the holiday season, not only just keeping healthy, there are some people who do struggle with depression of the holiday Huge season. Issue. Um, some people don't even want anything to do with it. What advice do you have someone who may? suffer from depression during those holiday seasons? Yes, yeah, suicide, as I mentioned earlier, uh, goes up significantly during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons, uh, and I, I, I get sad when, when I'm asked that question, is because many people feel alone at mm -hmm. the holiday um, season. Um, I just lost my, my brother in my head of Ireland. A very painful time so for sorry, the family. Yeah. It's a painful time for me living here in America, though I'm very blessed and very happy. This country's been so good to me. So I, I think if you're watching this, uh, it's very important to know that you're not alone. Do pick up the phone mm -hmm. if you find that you're having a really hard time struggling with depression. It's a huge issue. I know when my mother died in my native Ireland, I had a huge issue with depression. I was feeling, I don't mm -hmm. drink, I don't smoke. I'm mm -hmm. very active, I'm very healthy. I eat all these herbs, and even with right. all these remarkable herbs, and as good as they are, and as good as nature is, it's a huge struggle. And one of the things I found uh, was I had to make peace with myself that she was gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those of you who haven't lost a loved one, it's important that you get out of bed. That's the first step. Mm -hmm. You know, I met a 92-year-old man at the gym recently, and he said, I asked him what was the key to success and longevity and happiness. He says, keep moving. Yeah. So get out of bed. That's the first step. Um, open up your blinds. Uh, don't stay in a dark room. That just brings you down. Right. Call a friend. Go for a hike. Go for a walk. Start cycling. Doing some bowling. Doing some tennis. Mm -hmm. Play a sport. Get active. Move your body. Take good nutrition. Start juicing. Uh, 
go and watch a fun movie that makes you laugh. But be around people. Do not be alone over the, alone right. over the holiday season. It's a definitely a huge issue for a lot of people. And I've been alone a lot in my life in this country, not knowing anybody. And even in Ireland, though I had a large family, I was alone many times when I went to college. And right. I just found, I just picked up the phone and called. And sometimes yeah. just connecting with someone allows you an opportunity to express maybe how you feel that is difficult for you. But uh, the most important thing is to get up, turn on some really great music, mm -hmm. and go for a run. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Where can people go online to learn a little more about you and to maybe pick up some of your books or learn more? Oh, sure. Um, they can go to my website, which is www.radiant greens.com www.radiantgreens with an s.com I am in Los Angeles okay. and you can find me on Fox stations all across the United States absolutely well, thank you so much you thank can you, learn a little more on myfoxatlanta.com I'm Jennifer Banks for Fox 5